Okay, I wanted to show you how I'm chain piecing, sewing on the binding and the elastics all in one long chain step. I've got a six inch, seven inch piece of elastic that's sewn to the top of the mask and the bottom of the mask. And I'm doing it like all at once while I'm sewing. This is how I'm doing the binding edges. And I'll talk you through each of these steps, but I want you to just watch first. Sew all the way to the end, back up, stop, and set up for your next mask. I've done the pleating. Um, I did a separate video on how I do the pleating easily. But what I want you to see here is there's double fabric in the middle, but not on the very ends, and that's where the elastic is going. The binding is the same as the lining material, and it's sewn on and then flipped around, and then with another seam, we're going to sew that binding. So this is the outside of the mask that we're making. Okay, so I've got two inch, no, one and a half inch strips of binding, and the elastic is cut uh, thin elastic into lengths that are about six or seven inches long. And there's two reasons for chain piecing. One of them is it makes everything go a lot faster. And the other one is kind of a practical mechanical thing is that your sewing machine doesn't always like to sew over thick fabric and it certainly doesn't like to start sewing over thick fabric. So if you're chain piecing, you're just going from one to the next to the next without stopping and breaking the thread. I am backstitching at the beginning and the end of the seams. And it's when I'm backstitching, I'm going all the way back to catch the elastic. Now, if you're starting a brand new seam and you start at the very end and try to start and go uphill, your machine won't like it very much. So, and you've got the elastic in here too. Sometimes it has a hard time getting started so what I do at the beginning is start in a little ways. Can you see that? I start in and then I go backwards first and then go forwards. And I sew till I have a little space to work. I cut this binding fabric and I just set it over here, right side up. This is now folding upwards and you'll see why in a second. And then my piece of elastic is coming around right here. I'm gonna sew all the way to the end, reverse, and then put my next mask under the machine. Now my machine always stops with the needle down and yours might not do that, but this is the next step. You've got, here, why don't you come over to the other side. I've got this nice table at the front of my machine to work on. And it gives me a space to hold things down and look at the same time. So here's the right side of the mask with the little strip of fabric. And you just pull it around to the right side. And right away it's folding itself under. Then I'm going to fold. This is a little fussy, but I'm going to fold this under once and again. And then sew that so that I'm making a closed binding. Now again, it doesn't like to start going uphill, so I'm going to start going backwards. And then, since I have this long chain of masks that are sewn together, like this, yeah, you can back up a little bit. I can just work them one at a time, and if I had done both sides, They'd be hooked up at this end and it's easy to work one from the next. Okay, so now I'm gonna just flip this out, fold it once and again, and then sew from the last one to this one. Go all the way through the elastic, back it up, start come over this way a little bit. Back over my head. And then sew down. Hang on, let me turn.
turn off that one. Okay. The ends fold in. These ends, I'm just folding them under and holding them. I'm not wasting time pinning or doing any other steps. Just folding it and sticking it right under the sewing machine. I'm letting the presser foot do some of the holding for me while I'm fussing with the folds through the elastic, backwards, all the way down to the end, backwards. Next one comes into the assembly line. Fold, 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 fold. Stick it in there. So, back up. There you go.